Am I ghostly today? I'm like the opposite of Robbie and Christy. Am I blue? Am I blue? Am I pasty white? I don't know. I don't know the answer. What I do know is that the sun is not letting me film today. But we're powering through because this little baby came in the mail today and who doesn't love a Sephora sale? I know I do. So if you didn't know, the Sephora baby sale started October 30th. That was the pre-sale or the pre-start for the VIB Rouge. If you're not VIB Rouge, I think the sale starts today, the day this is posted. I'll put the dates in the description bar. I also posted a Sephora VIB sale like buying guide, everything I recommend, and I will link that down below if you don't know what to get from Sephora sale. This is everything I recommend. And this is everything I bought. This year I kept my Sephora sale a little bit more subdued. I still spent too much money, but I basically bought necessities and then two fun things because like, listen, it isn't a Sephora sale. Like with my Sephora sale cart is just, my Sephora sale cart is just necessities. I'm bored. So we got some fun things also because I can't help myself. So if you wanna see what I got, keep watching. Also subscribe to my channel up every Tuesday and Thursday. Also, if you're digging my brows today, I tried soap brows for the first time and kind of compared them to brow lamination. So that will be my next video coming up later this week and like, I'm kind of feeling them. Let me know what you think down there. We're just gonna pull things out. I didn't get too much exciting stuff, I'm sorry. First thing in here, which I like when I put things in bags like this so that I don't, they don't explode. This is one of my Holy Grail items. I'm pretty sure I included this in my Sephora video. Although, hold please. <laughs> okay, I just pulled this out and thought, this looks tiny. So I <laughs> compared it to the old one I have. This is the Origins Drink Up Intensive Overnight Hydrating Mask with Avocado and Glacier Water. It used to just be called the Origins Drink Up Intensive Overnight Mask. I'm gonna be really upset if they've reformulated it. Okay, well, why do brands do this to me? So the old ingredient list was water, rose flower water, um, myrtle leaf water, citrus, aranium, amara, flower water, some other flower extract, glycerin, and then alcohol. This one has water, glycerin, and then cetyl alcohol. So cetyl alcohol is now the third ingredient in this, which I don't love. I don't know if they're the same formula or not, but I will say this is my Holy Grail sleeping mask. I use this as my face, my favorite hydrating mask. I use it every time I use a sheet or a mud mask. Always put this on my face. However, this has always been like 30 bucks and this was four fluid ounces or 100 milliliters. This cost me $30 and it was 2.5 fluid ounces or 75 milliliters. So they have made this smaller and kept the price tag the same. I'm watching you. And they've changed the ingredient list. So just kind of as a heads up, this has been changed. I don't know if it's the same or not. Let me smell it and see if it smells the same. It smells exactly the same. So it could just be that all of the first um, ingredients here above glycerin were literally different types of flower water. So it might, they might've just kind of shoved it all together in water as the beginning ingredient in this one. I don't know, but I will say she's smaller. But regardless, this is always my favorite hydrating mask. So pray for me that it's the same. Um, in the vein of hydration, I also picked up a new night cream. Listen, you girl loves the night cream. She lives for a night cream. Night cream makes me happy. I have very dry skin. It is now November, which means winter is coming and it comes hard and fast in Canada. And so I like to have a good night cream. I'm currently using the Sephora Nourishing Night Cream, which I absolutely love. Oh no, I hate when brands package stuff so that it rips when you open it. How rude. I love the Sephora Nourishing Night Cream. If you're looking for a good night cream that is semi-affordable, it's only 22 Canadian dollars. I would highly recommend that, especially if you have dry skin, but I wanted to try a new one. This is the Pharmacy Honey Halo Ultra Hydrating Ceramide Moisturizer. I have the Pharmacy Honeymoon Glow Serum and I really do like it. 
And I have used ceramides in the past and really liked them, so I decided to try this. In this, you do get 50 milliliters or 1.7 fluid ounces, so that's not bad for an eye cream. I also want you to know that I just pulled this out and the lid is magnetic and it has a little fucking metal scooper. These are the things you pay for when you buy a night cream. I can not. So basically it says it's an intense moisturizer that replenishes dry, dis distressed skin. Ceramides and honey help protect the skin's moisture barrier. I'm always trying to protect my skin's moisture barrier. It says to apply to clean face AM and PM, although I don't see why would you would use this in the morning unless you are like the Sahara Desert. I'm dropping things. But we have to open her, don't we? I'm getting zero scent from this, which is great. I know a lot of people, I'm personally not picky about scent in my skincare. I'm watching Hiram's videos a lot lately. And <laughs> honestly, the hard on he has for scents in night cream or in any skincare is a little much to me. I think as long as you don't have sensitive skin, you're fine. Um, and like most estheticians agree, but this has no scent. So if you are um, sensitive, that's that. We have to touch her, right? Oh, she's thick. Oh my God, my best friend Amanda ordered this. Bitch, you're gonna love this. It's so thick. We love a thick moisturizer around here. And it also like blends really nicely in. Sometimes I don't like a really, like a, this is like almost like balmy kind of consistency. It's fantastic. It's gonna be great if you have dry skin. I just dropped the stopper. Literally my videos are how many things am I gonna drop? Um, so yeah, this is, has like a super balmy kind of consistency. I love this like little wood cap. The packaging is adorable. I really like the pharmacy like branding. The fucking metal spatula is iconic and that's sunk into my skin really well, but it still kind of feels a little bit sticky, which personally I like with a night cream. Like when I go to bed, my, <laughs> my husband once told me, he was like, you haven't done your face, your skincare yet. And I was like, how do you know? And he said, cause you don't look sweaty. And I was like, first of all, bitch, I'm glowy. Second of all, rude. And like, I like to like, my face is usually like glistening and wet when I go to bed. This is sinking in pretty nicely and makes my skin feel soft. I know that ceramides are good for dry skin. I've only used them a couple times before, but I'm excited to try that. Um, and then I guess we'll stay in the realm of hydration. Um, I picked up the Ordinary's Hyaluronic Acid 2% plus V5. I've used this a million times before in the past, but I have run out. And so I just picked up a new one, super inexpensive, not really necessary to buy it during the sale, but I was placing an order anyways. Um, I personally, my skincare queen is Cave of Beauty on Twitter. I will link her Twitter down below. She does a lot of great threads about skincare. And I was rereading her thread on um texture because that's my main concern is texture on my face for skincare and she was kind of listed out all of the ingredients you need to be using and she talked a lot about using hydrators and moisturizers together so i was kind of lacking a hydrator in my nighttime skin routine and my morning one so i did place an order from yes style for a bunch of like korean or asian skincare so i will be doing that haul whenever it comes in but obviously it's coming from asia so it'll take a little bit longer but we picked her up because she's super inexpensive. It's a hyaluronic acid plus B5. It's great. Hyaluronic acid, if you don't know, is a humectant, which means that it helps to draw moisture into the skin. I believe hyaluronic acid can hold up to like a thousand times its weight in moisture. So I like to put this on, then put a serum on, then put my moisturizer on, and then put an oil on, on top to seal everything in. And this kind of just holds all that moisture into your skin and it really helps to moisturize. So we stand. Um, I guess the last moisturization product <laughs> Can you tell it's winter and I have dry skin? This is the You to the People Dream Eye Cream. This is a Goji Stem Cell Ceramide and Vitamin C Hyaluronic Acid Overnight Eye Cream. Oh, I kind of thought I was gonna use this in the morning. Oh, but I guess I, I ordered one from YesStyle too that's like a peptide eye cream that I'll probably use in the morning. So I got this for my nighttime skincare routine. And I just, here's the thing, I like eye creams. And I do think that they're necessary. I know some people, Hiram, I've watched a lot of Hiram and sometimes I don't agree with his, his opinions. And I know that a lot of estheticians don't either. He says that eye creams aren't necessary because he's like, you can just use your regular moisturizer. But um, the way I look at it is your body and your skin are different. So you can't use body cream on your face because your face is more sensitive than your body. And I think that your eyes are also more sensitive and delicate than your face. And so you shouldn't probably be putting 
your actual face cream up that high. Personal preference, I'd rather just buy an eye cream and, you know, live my life like that. This is what she looks like. Also unscented, a nice consistency. Ooh, feels nice. Yeah, that feels like a nice thick eye cream. This is definitely a nighttime eye cream because I don't think that it would be, I think it's almost like too thick to put under makeup. But like, it's not like too, too thick, just like a little bit thick to put under makeup. But I definitely love the way that felt on my skin and I'm looking forward to using this. It is pro grade vegan, whatever that means. And it's supposed to smooth, hydrate and firm. The fucking holy triangle. Um, I have one more, I guess I have two more skincare items. Listen, we are skincare focused right now. And really what we're focused on right now is the fact that I am covered in mask knee. Fuck masks. <laughs> Just kidding, wear your mask. Always wear your mask. It's worth the mask knee. Um, so I've been like not wearing, I'm the, I'm the worst because like I'll put my face on film a video and then I'll just like go live my day and I don't take my makeup off before I put my mask on so then like my makeup is just like incubating under my mask which like probably is not the best thing so I picked this up this is the Murad acne control rapid relief acne spot treatment I just needed something to put on my face I have the Mario Badescu drying lotion but like those I can really only use at night because it's pink and you have to put it on your face whereas I wanted something that I could just like put on that's more like a lotion so this has salicylic acid in it and it's a 2% salicylic acid treatment and I'm pretty sure I can put this on like under makeup or just kind of like more like a skin. More like a skin, more like a lotion. Was that English? I've never tried this before, but I needed something that would help with all of this mask knee and like something that I can put on. Like I'll put my doctor or my Mario Videsco on at night, but I need something that I can like put on during the day and like not smell like sulfur. So hopefully this works pray for me. The actual last skincare product is the Laneige Glowy Lip Balm. Listen, I can't stop buying Laneige Glowy Lip Balms and you can't stop me, especially when they have new scents out. I'm actually almost out of my grapefruit one that I have in my office here. I have a peach one in my purse and now we have Gummy Bear. Now I've been told this smells kind of like grape, so you know we have to smell it, right? Oh yeah, 100% smells like grape candy. Kind of like yeah, like, it definitely smells like sugary, like a gummy bear. Like, it'd be like if it was a grape gummy bear, which, like, I'm not mad about. I love these. If you don't have the Laneige lip balms, either these ones or the pot ones, you need to get them. Definitely pick that up during the sale. It's my holy grail. I always pick one up during the sale. I have two full of the Laneige sleeping masks, one in here and one in my bathroom. So I didn't really need those, but I am, like I said, running out of my grapefruit one. So I picked up this one they're a little pricey for what they are but honestly the best lip balms i've ever used not gonna lie okay so the fun stuff um i have been eyeing this eyeshadow palette for my whole entire life if you watched my buying guide you'll know it's the melt 420 palette listen there's something about melt cosmetics they just like understand me on like a deep spiritual level i can't under i can't explain it um it's kind of like the way cap on like kvd cosmetics i've always really been like drawn to their stuff it's just like it's just like my vibe okay first of all this is the packaging why did no one tell me that like can you see this i'm moving around hold on there we go i have to do this why did no one tell me that like it has this like holographic um what is this called packaging this is called packaging that like reminds me of like the sailor moon color pop packaging like so gorgeous and these like these colors are just like so fall for me i kind of wish there was more um kind of burnt orangey colors in here as opposed to being so many greens but we love this packet palette also has gotten a lot of negative reviews so i actually am wearing it today and like i didn't have a problem with it i used the shade hash in my like my blown out in my crease and then i put the shade dank over like over top of it in my crease patted that all over the lid and then I put the shade faded on like my inner lid and like I think it looks really nice I didn't have any issues um like the shades kind of look a little bit muddy in my crease if I'm gonna be picky but I think that's mostly because they're dirty grungy shades they're gonna look a little bit muddy but like overall I didn't have any issues with it um also the 
faded shade went on a little bit patchy I kind of had to layer it but with like a light lime green they're not easy to formulate and like now that it's on my lid and I've kind of blended it out a little bit it looks beautiful I'm not gonna lie to you like can we see this look it's beautiful like there's just something about these colors like this color blunt stop and this color full melt like and they feel super buttery when you swatch them like beautiful I did just swatch them right over top of where I had put that moisturizer on so like the swatch isn't great but it's gorgeous I can't be mad at it and like this color is it called shotgun shotgun right here oh this like lime green color stop I'm excited to use that one um, if you have the Vita, I think it was called the Vita palette, the um, other one of this palette that was kind of like a matching palette, but it was more summery. The greens are very similar in them, so you probably don't need both. But if you don't have that palette, which I don't, this palette looks gorgeous. I don't know why it doesn't get the hype it deserves. It might be a little bit more hard to work with, but I didn't really have an issue, to be honest. And like these, these colors stop right now. Stop, just stop it. Okay, last thing I picked up was a lipstick. I honestly thought about picking up the Pat McGrath uh, little lip. They have, she has little lip trios that are minis. They were originally on sale when I was building my cart and then they went up from $16 to $33. And I was like, am I gonna spend $33 on three mini lipsticks? Like at that point, I might as well just pick a shade I want and spend 50 bucks on a full size. Especially because for me personally, I just, never reach for minis it's just not who I am as a person I never grab for them I have so many mini lipsticks in my makeup that I just never reach for it's just something I don't do so instead I picked up a Fenty Beauty lipstick this is the Mademoiselle lipstick they're all on sale for $16.50 and I don't know why but they have been for a long long time so I'm not sure what that is but I mean at $16.50 they're probably even cheaper in America they're basically half price like they're pretty like you're you're basically at like l'oreal prices at this point so i picked up the shade freckle fiesta because i have been looking for the perfect pumpkin orange for fall and like is this not it i'm wearing it right now let me just touch her up because i filmed a video before this like this color is gorgeous i will swatch it also just so you can see I almost bought the color pumpkin rose but it's definitely more of like a light orange and kind of remind me of a shade I already have from ColourPop but this shade here is Freckle Fiesta like it's the most perfect like warm like it's kind of like a burnt orange kind of shade which is exactly what I was looking for like it's everything and I love the Fenty Beauty Mademoiselle formula they're so creamy while being matte and comfortable I love it and I also do like I will say you're not getting a whole lot of product in here I don't think compared to other lipsticks because of how skinny the bullet is which is like why I appreciate that it's half price but because of how skinny the bullet is it's so easy to put on for those of us that don't have lip filler <laughs> listen your girl has tiny lips I need a tiny little lip pencil and this works beautifully and I absolutely live for it um, and then I just have two samples. I have a sample of the Fresh Exfoliating Face Wash. Did I pick this? This doesn't feel like something I would pick. I feel like they might have just thrown me two, three samples. Yeah, I definitely didn't, I don't think I picked either of these. This is the Christoph Robin No Frizz Anti-Frizz Rescue Milk and Shea Butter. Yeah, I wouldn't have picked either of these. They must have just like been out of my samples and thrown me two new ones. Rude. Um, but yeah, that is everything that I picked up from the Sephora sale. Let me know down below what you guys got. I'm excited to play with, I'm excited to like experiment with this skincare, although I need to like slowly integrate it into my skincare routine so that I don't further break out. I have like the world's biggest pimple right here. I covered it really well today. Thank you. I have the world's biggest pimple right here and it's one of those underground ones and it's been there for like three, like four days and it, it won't come to the surface and it like hurts. How dare you? So uh, like I said, let me know down below what you guys picked up from the Sephora sale or what you are picking up from the Sephora sale. Let me know what your, what my, your, like, your favorite thing I picked up was. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to my channel and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.